file print. Let us load a drawing first that we can print. Select file, recent files, and select the drawing that I want to load. To confirm the parameters, let's go and have a look under model space setup. What size has been set up for my model space? Select model space setup settings and we can see it's set up for an A1 1 in 100. And I want to print this to the size of an A4. Before we continue further, let's go and set up a plot style that we are going to use to print our drawing. So I will go and select OK. And go and load the plot style setup wizard. Select File. Configure plot styles. And let's go through the options. Let's divide this dialog box vertically to explain how it works. On the right hand side, I've got the summary of all the pins. On the left hand side is where I will do all the settings for the pins. Let's decide what we want to do. Then it is always easier to understand why we do things in a certain manner. We will set up a plot style file and save it so that we can use it in future which means that we can set it up once and reuse it all the time. This saves time again, which leads to better productivity. We will call this plot style file Mono01. We will set it up for a black and white print. Although we want all the different color pens to be set to black, we will set the different thicknesses for the first four pens that we've used in this drawing. Here is another tip. Instead of setting up the plot style file from scratch with no information, let's rather use the default one which is called style 1. We will copy that and we will save it with the name of mono01. Then we can only modify the parameters that we want to change and that saves us a lot of time again. Enough said. Let's do it. I've got style 1 selected and now I can go and select copy. Ikari will prompt me now what is the new plot style file name. I will type in mono01 and I will select OK. Our plot style file is created and now we can modify the parameters. In the carry pen list box, I can see all the pens from pen 1 down to the last pen, which is pen 255. Let's scroll back up. When I select pen 1, I can see the device properties color it's set to custom and there I can change it and set to any color that I want. Because I want all the pens to be set to black I can use set all colors to select it. Kelly will ask me that it will reset all the colors in the plot style mono01 to the black that I've selected. Do I want that? And I select yes. All my pens have now been set to an output of black. With exactly the same procedure I can do the settings for the widths for all the pens, but because I want different pen thicknesses, I will do those individually. And this is how. I select my pen under caddy pens, and then under pen width, I can see it's set to custom with a thickness of 0 0.1. If I select that, I want to set it to 0 0.18, and I select that. Pen 2, I want 0 0.18, it is set to that. So let's go for pin 3. I select pin 3, it's set to 0 0.25. That's what I want. Pin 4, I want to set to 0 0.45. Select it from the drop down list and it is set. If I select save, my plot style file has been saved. Let's look how the summary works. If I select expand all, it shows me pin 1, the screen color, it shows me the line width and the plot color that I have selected. The same with pen 2, the screen color, the line width, and the plot color, which is black. Pen 3, the same, and if I move down to pen 4, it is all there. By selecting Browse Plot Style Folder, Caddy will open a Windows Explorer window for me, where I can then copy or move plot style files. Let's get back to plotting our drawing. 